Hey, hey, how you doing? My name is Steve. I'm the co-founder of Zach Network. We are a social network project built on Web3, strictly for professionals. You can find out more about Zach in, on our website, www.zag.network. And please follow our socials. We'll update you on where our project is going and all the ongoing developments of, of our project. It's a very exciting uh, project uh, and uh, we're going to do big things in, in the social networking scene. Okay, thank you for coming to our uh, weekly vlog. This is vlog number 10. And today I just want to cover some of the, the more recent news about um, the banking meltdown in the U.S. and and you know what 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 are the the ramifications of it um, and how it came about and uh, and and where is the safe money going to um, and and how it's going to impact this part of the world as well. So let's look into it. Let's look into it. Okay, first of all, uh, Jerome Powell, who is the Fed chairman. Um, Last night, uh, made an announcement at the FOMC meeting. FOMC stands for Federal Open Market Committee. I'd look at my notes. Um, so basically, they, as expected, he raised another 25 basis points on the interest rate. So the US interest rate now is 5%. And because of this aggressive raise of interest rates by, by the Fed, uh, in the last 12 months, uh, it has some knock knock on effects, and and one of the, the 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 terrible consequences is that a lot of a lot of the U.S. banks are hitting the wall; they're going bankrupt. So in the last month, we have seen some really big banks going under. So uh, banks like the Silvergate Bank. Uh, Silicon Valley Bank, Signature Bank, and two days ago, First uh, uh, First Federal Reserve Bank, sorry, First Reserve Bank uh, going bankrupt. And there will be more to follow because Jerome Powell last night said that they're, they're going to increase interest rates instead of reducing in interest rates. So yeah, so uh, it's a shit show, man. The banking scene in America is a, sh is a shit show. Shit show. It's a shit show. Okay, the, the winners out of this are actually the big US banks like JP Morgan, Citibank, Wells Fargo, because the US uh, Fed is enabling them to gobble up all the smaller um, banks that are going bankrupt. So yeah, that's what's happening. Um, if you want to kind of dig a little bit deeper on, on, on why it's happening is because when interest rates, when Fed had interest rates at zero, uh, the only way that the banks, which had lots of uh, reserve in in uh, in the treasury, the only way, not only way, but one of the ways for them to get a return on the money is to buy treasury bills. Treasury bills are like IOU slips from from the U.S. government. So a lot of them bought ten-year. Uh, Treasury bills, meaning that uh, the the bills can only be redeemed ten years from the time they bought it, and they would have bought it at one percent interest, so one point five percent interest. Now that the interest rate is at five percent, all those T bills that were bought at one or one point five percent interest, the the value of those bills have gone down significantly, and hence, as a result. All these banks in the U.S. that that been that been thinking that it's a safe option to buy T bills uh, are now uh, facing a big issue because uh, when when the the banking customers are getting nervous, uh, you know it's a knock-on effect. They get nervous, they want to withdraw their money. There's a bank run. Everybody starts uh, withdrawing their money out from the bank. And as a result, they have to sell their tables at a huge discount, and has and hence, you know, bringing the the, the total value of the bank down, and also uh, impacting the cash flow. And once there's a bank run, the the bank is screwed, right? So so that's what's happening in the U.S. right now. Look again, I'm not a banker. 
you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just kind of explaining uh, how I understand it. Um, and of course, you can Google, Google it. You can check it out yourself. And, and uh, you know, what's happening in the U.S. is scary. And now, some of these banks that have gone, gone bankrupt recently, like the first um, Reserve Bank, uh, Signature Bank, Silicon Valley banks, they're not small banks. You know, they're, they're, they're the top 20 banks in America out of the 4,000 banks that are uh, right across America. So the anticipation is, you know, out of the 4,000 banks in the U.S., you know, maybe in about six months or whatever, it could be down significantly to less, to less. So yeah, it's, it is it is really, really scary. So what is the knock-on effect then? So well, the knock-on effect is, would there be a contagion, a banking contagion across the world? Um, we've seen a little bit of it in Europe. Uh, Credit Suisse got into trouble, but, uh, but got absorbed by UBS. And I heard today that National Australia Bank, NAB Bank, or NAB, sorry, um, the share price went down by 7% uh, because of all these banking fears. So, you know, there could be this run on banks right across the world, and that could be a lot of headaches for the, for the bankers, that's for sure. Okay, so what happens right so there's a the banks are in trouble it's no fun to be a banker today um and you know a, a lot of the banks are going bankrupt so so what what where is the money going to because there's always money floating around there's always money in the markets and the markets will always the money will always find the most efficient way to get a return or a flight to safety. So as, as a result, you see that the price of gold is at an all-time high. Yeah, and it's, it's, sort of, it's sort of reaching its all-time high now. And it's, gonna, it, it, it's anticipated that it, it would break through that, um, the previous all-time high, and, and go into price discovery, which is fantastic. Because I do some, I do have some gold in my CPF account, my retirement account. Um, the other asset class that could potentially do very well, uh, being a crypto guy, being a blockchain guy, is Bitcoin. Because Bitcoin, as as we uh, we we know it, is digital gold. There is a finite amount of bitcoins, 21 million bitcoins in the world, uh, and and also uh, the the more tech savvy people prefer to hold something digital rather than, you know, an ingot of gold or, or a bar of gold. So uh, we could see uh, a pump in Bitcoin. I'm, I'm, I'm not, this is not financial advice. Don't, don't go and buy, buy a Bitcoin down, do your own research. And if you think that, uh, you know, there is a possibility that Bitcoin could do a run, then put some money into it, but not financial advice. I'm only a guy on the internet, that's all it is. Okay. Um, yeah. So, 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 so. Okay. Yeah. So that's what's happening right now, in 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 the banking sector, uh, in the U.S. And there could be a contagion effect that could roll into into Europe and to the rest of Asia Pacific. Um, so, so keep watching this space because you know if uh, if if the banks, uh, you know. The, a couple of months ago, it was the tech companies that that uh, got into trouble, uh, and uh, all of them were heavily retrenching their staff and letting people go and big layoffs. You know, if the banks get into trouble, there there could be a massive layoff in the banking sector as well, and that's obviously not good. That's not what we want, right? So, yeah, so that that's potentially what could happen. But keep your eye on it, keep your ear to the ground, read up on the news, don't just listen to me. Um, I'm, I'm just somebody, somebody that research a little bit more, maybe, um, and I'm just sharing information with you. So thank you very much for your time. Fantastic to have you here. And uh, I don't know what I'll be talking about next week, vlog number 11, but thank you for joining vlog number 10, which is about the, the US banking situation right now and a little bit about gold and Bitcoin as well. And if you have your views, if you have some comments, please put it down below. I'd love to, to, to kind of read all about it and then have a conversation with you about it.
all right thank you very much speak to you soon